Item Number SCP-2922 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2922-A is the remaining Area 2922. At least one Project Corbin and staff member must be ready to answer transferred calls from SCP-2922-A 24 hours a day. SCP-2922-B's research of SCP-2922-C is to continue as a Delta-level priority to the Foundation. Details of the SCP-2922 memetic implantation procedure are restricted to Project Corbinate internal operations staff only. Selection for an SCP-2922 implanted candidate to take the place of SCP-2922-B is underway. Description. SCP-2922 is a method of communication from a human mind to a telephone. Once a human is implanted with SCP-2922, they will be able to make phone calls to a pre-established phone number at any time. The method by which the phone receives these calls is not entirely understood, as it does not involve standard telecommunication signals. SCP-2922 was developed by the Corporation initially as a novelty smartphone app. The project was then promptly discontinued when it was discovered that actual telepathy, not the natural electricity of the brain, were involved, and the prototype was never released. Despite its nature as an app, a landline can be designated as the destination number as well. SCP-2922-A is a brand telephone of a model commonly seen in office building environments. Its number is which is the destination number for SCP-2922-B. SCP-2922-B is a Foundation scientist, Dr. Janet Spiegel, who volunteered to be implanted with SCP-2922. SCP-2922-C is SCP-2922-B's current location as of November 25, 2014, believed to be an extra-dimensional realm. Addendum 1 Project Korbenik on November 25, 2014, two months into the implant, SCP-2922-B was killed in a car accident. Two hours later, a call was received on SCP-2922-A. Sorry, you have the wrong- Oh, thank god you picked up. Jake, it's Janet. We're not in the mood for prank calls. Dr. Janet Spingle, Foundation email J Spingle one Password- Social Security number six. Not kidding. A am I dead? Hold on. I'm gonna verify those credentials. Verified. We just got the call. Police said your car got T-boned by a drunk and you were dead on arrival. But if you're reaching this phone, you can't be dead. Car crash? At least that makes sense. Last thing I remember, I was trying to drive through some rain and now I'm naked in the middle of the desert with... Janet? Come in, Janet. Sorry, just, I'm actually truly dead, and whatever this place is, I'm not leaving ever. I need a while to adjust, so I'll update you on my condition soon, I, I promise, but I need a moment to take it in. Warning myself if that makes any sense. Alright, just stay calm. Get back to us when you can. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. I'll need it. SCP-2922-B hangs up. Attempts to trace the call yielded nothing. Addendum 1 Project Korbinik By the command of the O5 Council, Project Korbinik was started to use SCP-2922-B to explore and ascertain the true nature of SCP-2922-C. Project Korbinik Interview Log PC-02 What does the sky look like? Dark, very dark, sea-green sky. Black clouds, no stars. But it doesn't look like there's a nighttime. I don't even know if this place has daytime and nighttime. There's a couple moons, I guess. Three white ones. Is there a sun? No, I think it's just these moons for now. Temperature? 
cold. I say about 10 degrees Celsius. But there's no wind, so that's nice, I guess. Any other life forms? Negative. No animals, no people, no wind, no sound. Dead silence. The sound of my breath is kind of loud. You can breathe? Yeah, I still got my body. At least a duplicate. How do you feel? Emotionally or physically, the former is still pretty awful, to be honest. The latter? I'm not in pain. I'm not hungry. I don't feel like I need to do anything. I'm... Listen, can I speak to my husband? I'll have to take that up with 05. Okay, really press if you can. I miss him so much already. Noted. I'll bet he does too. How about this? I'm going to walk in a straight line. In one direction. For a very long time. As soon as I see something other than sand, I'll contact you again. Sounds good. We'll be here whenever you've got something. SCP-2922-B hangs up. PC-03. You there? Janet, what do you have for us? Some real freaky shit. I was just getting to the base of some mountains. How long's it been since I last called? Five days. And I'm not tired or hungry either. That's weird. Anyway, I, I found another life form, I think. Human? Bipedal mammalian. That's where the human similarities end. Bigger than the surrounding mountains. Wild guess it's about 2,000 meters high. Slow-moving primate of some kind. It came out of the mountains after I heard some sound like a long, slow drumbeat. It's footsteps. Matted black fur all over, only different colors with two glowing white eyes like searchlights. I don't think it had a mouth. Anyway, I, I think I got... Some kind of confirmation that this is an afterlife, if not THE afterlife. It stepped on me. It attacked you? More out of curiosity, I think. It just wanted to see how much force my body could stand from its foot. It wasn't angry. Hell, I'd say even polite about smashing me in its own stupid way. You were crushed flat, and you're still talking to us? Every wound regenerates here. Hurt like hell for about two minutes, but my skin and bones put itself back together in just a few seconds. And where is this primate? Went off into the desert. I think it's just lost as I am. I'm seeing some kind of fire in a small valley. Appears man-made from campfires. People! I, I see people! How many? Hundreds! Looking in this valley, they're all sort of just huddled up. All of them naked as I am. Some of them buried waist, waist up in the ground. I, wh why? Why the hell would they do that? Do they appear to be suffering? No, I, I think they buried themselves. Like, maybe they're at peace with their condition and just want a place to relax. Th that'll be me soon, won't it? Stay calm. Look, I've given you insights to something you couldn't possibly imagine seeing in your time at the Foundation. I only asked in return that you let me talk to my husband. I checked with O5. The only people you are authorized to speak with are Project Corbinic personnel. Then hire him! He has an art history degree. I doubt he'd be able to last long in a scientific environment for reasons other than to contact you. Fuck it. SCP-2922-B hangs up. PC-04. Good news. Yes? A wagon came to the human camp, driven by a guy in a white robe and skeletal horse. Says we're being taken to the Elysian Fields. Paradise, basically. Interesting. You don't sound too happy about it. Yeah, sure. SCP-2922-B hangs up. Addendum 2. After PC-04, no further transmissions have been received from SCP-2922-B for seven months. 
Multiple attempts were made to contact SCP-2922-B through a phone call. All had failed. Project Korbenik was put on hiatus until a voicemail was recovered from SCP-2922-A. PC-05 Voicemail recording begins. This is Janet. I've been following your efforts to track me down. It helps when you won the favor of the 7th. All it took was me to tell you of a field of reeds where everyone's happy forever and you wanted more. Why? So that you can all have excuse to die? So you can skip the training and jump right into the mission blind? Cowards! Look, everything was true. Right up until the Grim Reaper came in a wagon. Even the giant monkey wasn't a fabrication. After that, the truth is much more complicated. And there's a very easy way for me to tell you what exactly happens after you die. I want to talk to my husband. If your fear and hatred of civilians trumps your thirst for knowledge and you decide not to follow through, I'll know. And then you'll never know. Dr. Janet Spingle, advisor to... The Impenetrable, signing off. Recording ends. On June 14, 2015, MTF Psi-8, The Silencers, raided the home of Herman Spiegel, widower to Dr. Janet Spiegel, after detecting a voicemail from an anomalous source similar to the one received by SCP-2922-A. Upon discovery, Mr. Spiegel threw the phone at a wall in an attempt to destroy it, and was shot. The phone was unharmed, and this voicemail was uncovered. Voicemail recording begins. Herm? It's me. I know you might have doubts, but you're standing in your silly silk PJs looking at your phone like you've just gone crazy. It's 354 where you are. This is Janet, and I'm contacting you from beyond the grave. You're not crazy. Now listen carefully, because it was hard enough to send this to a phone that wasn't 2922A, and the impenetrable can only work so much magic. He's friendlier than he sounds, trust me, we're on first name basis. That's not important. Some guys from a Foundation Task Force are heading to our house. They'll be there in less than 10 minutes. I can see this. I have some help. This is MTF Psy-8 that's after you. Really Black Ops Foundation stuff. They have a policy of not taking prisoners. You're, you're about to die. Look, I know you're very scared right now. I wish I could be there. Your dead wife is telling you you're about to die. And I know that scares you, especially since you're an atheist. But I assure you, there is an afterlife. There are millions of afterlives. There are as many different ones as there are different types of people. I'm in one of the preferable ones, and you can be here with me if you follow my path. There isn't much I can say about the journey without compromising the whole thing. But you've been preparing for this journey your whole life. You've been given instructions along the way you just didn't know they were at the time. Look back to your most important memories. This is not hell or heaven or purgatory. This is the final exam. There are just a few things to remember. 1. Never give up. I know you can reach me. You're the strongest and bravest guy I know. 2. Follow the moon on the left. Get to the Valley of Striders and ask the Three Face Three where the spy went. It'll make sense when you get there. 3. Do not do anything that will make anyone angry. If a Strider wants to kill you, let it. You'll regenerate. It's harmless. I think it's their way of saying hello. It happened to me. Things can't die here, but there's something worse. Whatever you do, do not get sent back by the Striders or the Eight. I can't say what it is without making it happen to you, but you don't want it. For most importantly, shit! They're at your door. Remember what I told you. Delete this voicemail. Smash the phone into pieces. They must never know. I've got the impenetrable on my side, and he'll do whatever he can to help you along the way. For the record, he believes in you too, and that's high praise considering that it comes from a being of his power. I'll be watching. Win or lose, I love you forever. Recording ends. Following PC-06, Operation Galahad is officially in effect.